Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the play Antigone by Sophocles. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our channel and like this video. We have a huge collection of books and novels. The themes of the play are The characters of the play are Antigone by Sophocles is a Greek tragedy that revolves around the conflict between familial duty and the laws of the state. The main character, Antigone, defies the king's decree and buries her brother, Polynices, who died in a civil war. King Creon, Antigone's uncle, orders Polynices' body to remain unburied as punishment. Antigone chooses loyalty to her family and the divine laws over obeying the king. The conflict between individual conscience and state authority remains a timeless and thought-provoking aspect of the play. Antigone raises questions about the balance between personal ethics and obedience to political power, making it a classic in the realm of Greek tragedies. The story begins in the aftermath of a brutal battle in Thebes. Antigone, the daughter of Oedipus, finds herself torn between loyalty to her family and obedience to the state. The new ruler of Thebes, King Creon, has declared that the body of Polynices, Antigone's brother, is not to be buried but left to rot on the battlefield as a punishment for treason. Antigone, driven by a deep sense of duty to her family and the gods, defies Creon's decree and buries her brother's body. She believes in the importance of honoring the dead and fulfilling her moral obligations, even if it means going against the law of the land. As the news of the burial spreads, the chorus, a group of Theban elders, expresses both sympathy for Antigone's actions and fear of the consequences that may follow. Creon, a stern and authoritative ruler, learns of the disobedience and is determined to enforce his law, setting the stage for a tragic confrontation. In Act 2, Creon, enraged by Antigone's defiance, confronts her. The dialogue between Creon and Antigone reveals the central conflict of the play, the clash between divine law and human law. Antigone argues that she is following the higher law of the gods, which demands proper burial for the dead, while Creon insists on the supremacy of the state's authority. Creon's stubbornness and pride become apparent as he refuses to show any leniency towards Antigone, even when his son Haman, who is engaged to Antigone, attempts to reason with him. Haman, torn between his loyalty to his father and his love for Antigone, pleads for a more compassionate stance. The tension escalates as Haman and Creon engage in a heated argument, each defending their principles. Haman warns his father of the consequences of his rigid rule, predicting that the people will turn against him if he persists in his harsh judgment. The final act of the play unfolds with tragic inevitability. Despite Haman's efforts to convince his father, Creon remains unmoved. Antigone is sentenced to be entombed alive, a fate she accepts with stoic resolve. As she is led away, the chorus reflects on the power of fate and the tragic consequences of human pride. The seer Tiresias, a respected figure in Thebes, arrives to warn Creon about the impending divine retribution for his actions. He prophesies that Creon's refusal to bury Polynices and mistreatment of Antigone will bring doom upon the city. Faced with the ominous prophecy, Creon begins to reconsider his decision. However, it is too late. Haman, devastated by the news of Antigone's fate, takes his own life. Eurydice, Creon's wife, upon learning of her son's death, also succumbs to despair and ends her life. The play concludes with Creon, a broken man, acknowledging the tragic consequences of his pride and stubbornness. The once mighty ruler is left to grapple with the devastation he has brought upon his family and city. In Antigone, Sophocles masterfully weaves a narrative that looks into the complexities of morality, authority, and fate. The character's struggles and the inevitable tragic outcome serve as a powerful commentary on the enduring tensions between individual conscience and the demands of society. The play stands as a poignant reminder of the consequences that arise when human hubris clashes with divine will. Thank you for reading the summary. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel for regular summaries. We also have a collection of 1,000 plus summaries of books, novels, plays, dramas and poems at our website a to z summary.com. Thank you and take care.